Hey guys, so today I have this Dell Precision T7910 workstation machine. I just picked this up, just received it yesterday, and this is uh, hopefully going to be my new uh, workstation replacement. I'm not really sure yet. Uh, I want to try it out and see if this is a good fit for what I need. So anyway, as you can see, this is a Dell Precision Tower, sort of the T7910. It supports uh, Haswell and Broadwell CPUs. I've only got uh, some Haswell CPUs in there right now because uh, that's kind of more affordable right now. But anyway, this uh, machine has an onboard SAS 3008 uh, SAS controller. And by default, it comes in IR mode. But you know, if you've been watching my channel, you know how much I love ZFS. And I use ZFS even with my workstation machine, uh, usually in combination with Fedora Linux. And so I need to convert that uh, IR mode firmware to IT mode. And so I've got my uh, bootable do uh, free DOS uh, USB stick in here with the firmware tools. And uh, I'm gonna show you how I'm going to uh, flash the onboard uh, SAS 3008 from IR mode to IT mode. All right, let's get to the monitor. All right, so here I am at the monitor. I booted up into free DOS. Uh, on this USB uh, FreeDOS uh, flash drive, I have the P16 uh, firmware for the LSI SAS 3008 chipset. And the first thing I'm going to do is run uh, SAS 3 flash, and I'm going to do a listing so that I can see and confirm that the utility can actually uh, communicate with the controller. So here it is. It's outputting the information that it's finding. It's a little bit slow right now, but uh, most importantly is the SAS address. So if you're doing this, make sure you write that down. I've already written it down or, or take a photo of the output of the screen here. So I'm just waiting for this command to complete. I'll give it a second here. All right, so the, the output is now complete and you can see uh, by default, the firmware is in IR mode. Uh, it is an LSI chipset um, in the a product ID, it mentions the T7910, so this is just the onboard SAS 3008 controller on the motherboard of the T7910. And so, um, anyway, we're going to, this is actually, it looks like a really old uh, version of the firmware as well. So anyway, we're going to erase this firmware and then uh, flash the uh, IT firmware and then if we have to, I'm, I'm going to see if I can try to do this without erasing the SAS address. We'll see how that goes. But if I accidentally erase that, um, I've written that down so I can flash that back in. All right, so let me clear the screen here. So the first thing we want to do is I'll select the, the controller by its index number. And I think we have to do the dash O dash E. And uh, so E O enables the advanced options, which includes some of the erase options. And so the dash E5, I believe, will erase the firmware. Let's see how that goes. All right, so that seems to be successful. And now we need to flash the firmware. All right, so let me clear the screen again. And here's the firmware file. All right, so we're going to do dash F SAS 9030 tilde one, just because the name of the file is a little bit longer than the uh, 8.3 character scheme of DOS. Um, and we're going to also flash the BIOS. So that's the MPT SAS ROM and also the uh, UEFI. Okay, so hopefully that should do it. Let's uh, see how that goes. Okay, that looks like it failed. Um, all right, then we might have to do a higher level of erase. So, let's see if I can clear the screen here. All right, let's try this. We're going to do dash E6. So, this is just the higher level uh, erase. It'll erase more uh, content. Um, maybe there was some something left behind in the flash that prevents it from accepting the IT firmware or the basically remnants of the IR firmware still there. So, we'll do a dash E6. Okay, that's completed successfully. Now let's try the firmware flash again. So same firmware flash command, 
with the dash F for the IT mode firmware, dash B for the BIOS ROM, dash B for the UEFI ROM. So it says firmware download successful, so I think uh, that worked this time. It's just resetting the adapter and probably it'll flash the BIOS stuff as well next. All right, looks like commands uh, completed successfully. Uh, let's check out the controller now. I'll pull the listing command. Let's see what we find. All right, looks like it preserved the SAS address, so that's good. I don't have to reprogram that. All right, so now we got the IT mode firmware version uh, P16. So that's the latest, I believe, that's currently available. Awesome, so now it's identified as a 9300-8i, which is the kind of IT uh, version of the SAS 3008. And the board name and stuff is still there from the previous uh, flash, but I guess that really doesn't matter. That's just caught in cosmetic, and you, I believe you can change that if you really wanted to. But anyway, uh, it looks like we have IT firmware on this, and we've got the current version. We've got the BIOS and the UEFI. Awesome. So, and then the SAS address was preserved, so that's actually kind of a bonus. Sometimes that gets erased, I think, with certain erase levels. But uh, I guess dash E6 didn't erase it, so that's great. All right, so that's how you convert the T7910 uh, workstation's uh, onboard SAS controller to IT mode if you want to use ZFS or some sort of other software RAID technology uh, on this workstation. All right, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, give me a like if you can, and... Uh, be sure to subscribe to uh, see more videos from me. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.